Okay, I'm at Cajon Creek, and I'm going to try out my prospector's dream, dream map, they call it. I've been wanting this for, oh, two or three years now. So I modified my keen here to have, use a dream mat. Now, I'm the worst person at engineering or whatever you want to call it. So it's far from complete. I actually need something here to make it match, to have it come down so I can pour the, uh, <coughs> excuse me, pour the material here and it'll slide over. So the way it is at this moment, I'll just have to pour the material right onto the mat and see how it catches. But like I said, I'm terrible at trying to come up with things like that. So somewhere along the line, maybe I'll get somebody to help me out. Okay, I got it set up fairly good. Sands. That's good. I've ran a bunch of uh, dirt through it. You can see all the black sands trapped. Hopefully there'll be some gold under those black sands. Is there a piece of gold there? Probably not. But, well, maybe. Right there, possibly. Usually the gold I find here, if I find any at all, is pretty small in most cases. Okay, well I'm going to clean it out. Oh wait, there's... That looks like a piece right there. Okay. Hey, there's, I see some more. There's a little piece, there's a piece. Good. So it didn't turn into a nightmare, it turned into a good dream. So far, anyway. Alright, looks like it's doing its job, so... I'm gonna clean it out now, and see what we got. Check out the concentration. Alright, I do see some little pieces of gold in there. There's two ways I can do this. I can tilt it up like this and, you know, splash water on here and let it go into the bucket. Or I can pull the mat out, roll it up, and stick it in the bucket and try it that way. So, um, I'm going to experiment. Okay, I've been, I've decided to cram it into the bucket and do it that way. Alright, let's see. Got the old super sluice here. Pan. I'm getting there. Might have to take it out. Let's see. Maybe tilt it. Okay, I got the old dream mat cleaned up pretty, pretty good. All right, now I'll pan out my concentrates. All right, I got my cons screened down to quarter inch. Let me see if there's any giant nuggets in the classifier. Unfortunately not. Nope. 
not at all. Here's my cons. I'm gonna pan it into the Garrett uh, Super Sluice Gold Pan. Okay. Yeah, a lot of black sands. That's for sure. Dream Mat really held them in. But is there gold with the black sand? Well, I know I saw some already. I don't know how much. But Get all those blondes out of the way there. Get down to the nitty gritty. Let's see if we're getting anywhere. Oh yeah, there's some. Oh, there's even a little bigger piece. Okay. Well, I guess all my digging paid off after all. And I did a lot of digging. <laughs> different locations here. Well, let me see. Probably what I'll do from here, I'll put these in a container and uh, take it home and finish the job there. Yeah, that's pretty good. Oh, there's a nice piece. Okay. Alright. Let's check the old safety pan, make sure I didn't lose any. And let me check it out, see if we what we ended up with here. Yeah, looks like not a speck lost. Good. Yeah, this whole river has completely changed since I was here last. I mean completely changed. It probably has something to do with they had a fire that went through here. You can see some of the stuff burned. And between the fire and then rains after that, it would have washed a lot of stuff down in here that wasn't in here before. Maybe changed the flow of the whole place a little bit. But like this part here is completely different. It wasn't like that at all before. It was just like this over there. Yeah, it's getting very cloudy. It's uh, Friday, December 9th. So I'll head home and uh, get the old snuffer bottle out if I have time and clean the gold out and show you what I got. I might not be able to do it today, might be tomorrow. We'll see. Unfortunately, like most places, they dump all their trash here. Yep, they even wrote, put signs up, don't dump your trash. Nobody listens. So Steve, Randy, and myself are over at uh, uh, the Boneyard. It's Friday. Afternoon. Randy got a new coil. He's trying out the Nell Sharpshooter. So what's it supposed to do? Well, it's a little smaller than the, the original coil that was on here. Oh. That's why I'm hoping it might help in these trashy areas a little bit more. It's hmm. and it's supposed to be more stable and you know mm -hmm. do a little bit better that way. Right. It seems like it is. Okay. Like I said, right around here, I found a few more coins. Uh -huh. Nickel size, but it looked like it says Elizabeth or something on it. Okay, yeah, there's some kind of big metal it's thing. It's the road right there. All right. Every one of those English ones or something. I don't know what the thing is. It's a 
like a queen a little better. Yeah, it's like maybe Queen, queen Elizabeth or... I don't know if they have her face in Canada also. I don't know. Yeah, I can't, I'm not sure if it's an uh, old coin or new. Or I don't know. It might be somebody else. Maybe. It's not a nickel size. But. Uh. Okay, Steve's got one weedy, some copper memorials, and some regular memorials. Here we go. Looks like about. I kicked a few weeds out of the way. I got to get a little signal at the base of this rock boulder. There we go. Right, is there something there? Yeah. There we go. Okay, again, it's under a bush, of course. Uh, get in here. I got it all cut up. Poke that, etc. Oh, Oh, it's a tin aluminum can, or actually a tin can. It looks like an old can. And let, let me make sure. Just threw it right out there in the open so we can dispose of it. I hope this is a coin. I've only found one after quite some time. So I'm like over, over, overdue for something good besides trash. See if it's in this dirt somewhere, whatever it is. Check it here. It's out of the hole. I think I see it. Alright, Indian head. 1889. Oops. Went back in the hole, doesn't want to leave. Anyway. I just got an Indian head and a V nickel. Let's see what Randy has here. Oh, this one's all been out of the Okay. Well, two Indian heads. No, this one's a little bent, but that's what it is. Some kind of foreign coin. Might be one of those English ones with. Uh, Queen Elizabeth, or whatever that is on there. Uh, Weedy, Memorial Penny, Copper, uh, Newer Nickel, and two Clad Pennies. Okay. Okay, here's what I got from Cajon Creek.